Alright guys, here we go, this is the new MD 2017, just got it in this morning, it's a nice radio, I'm really, really enjoying it so far. This is going to be a little, not exactly an unboxing video, but I'm gonna show, I'll show you a little bit about the radio, we'll look at the menu stuff, and I'll show you what comes in the box. I did get it just in just this morning. You get a little, um, what's like a little, little sheet, little cheat sheet, little owner's manual, nice looking owner's manual, which I haven't even <laughs> looked at. You know us, you know how us our am ham radio operators are. We don't need manuals. Throw that in the trash. <laughs> um, the company that I ordered mine from, I did get a charging cable and the software so I don't know I'm not for sure if that comes in or all of them power adapter and charging charging base the radio the battery which I've already installed and the belt clip which I've already installed that as well and the antenna of course so let's get all this out of the way get this chooched out of over here somewhere and we'll We'll start checking this bad boy out. Now, i got to say one thing. The radio is awesome. I really like it. I love the dual band. There's a cover that goes over this. I haven't. I took it off when I programmed it. And I haven't put it back on yet, but there's a nice little cover that covers this up. But anyway, I love the radio. It's a dual band. VHF, UHF, uh, VHF 136 to uh, 174, UHF um, 380 to 480, I believe. I did do a little research online, and you can take your MD380, read the code plug, and then open it with the 2017 software, and then write that straight to the radio, so... If you want to get on really super fast, you can load up that code plug, and that's sort of what I did. I haven't programmed or changed a whole lot yet. I love uh, everything about it. Everything, except for one thing. One thing I do not like. That trackball. I just, I mean, it's okay, but I wish they would have made just down up left right buttons that's all it needs this trackball i do not like which you can go in and lock the keypad to keep from bumping it but when you bump it you see what happens it changes channels i don't like the trackball but i mean that's the only thing that i can really critique i mean everything else about the radio seems great I tested it this morning on the DMR system, 3100. That's usually where I hang out. I tested it there. The guy said it's. Everybody said it sounds great. I mean, everything seems great. The menu is pretty much the same. There's a few extra things from what you have in your 390 or 380 or so forth. You can go in, of course, I'll just show you what, what's in the menu. See, here we are using this trackball again, and I don't like that thing. Utilities. Program radio. See, now before, that didn't show up. But I went into the, the software for the radio, and you can actually turn that on. We'll take a look at that here. I think it's under, let's see. Yeah, menu items over here, menu items. And then you go over and then check program radio. And then when you write your radio, then you can go into your menu. And if you're out in the field or something, you can program your radio, throw in a channel, do, you know, change the talk group, do whatever you need to do in the field. I don't have, I've heard 
that there is already a hacked battery's almost dead for this radio. I haven't even charged it. But I heard that there is a hacked firmware already out and available for it yet. I haven't loaded it, haven't tried it. This is the stock firmware that came with the radio. I love it being dual bands. I had to, you know, before I'd have to carry a VHF radio and a UHF radio and it just, you know, carrying two radios sucks. So, you know, having everything in one in one package is, is just, it's awesome. It makes it so much easier. I can put all my VHF local analog repeaters, local DMR, you know, UHF stuff and some people like to use them for a police scanner. You know, you can load your local law enforcement, just whatever, whatever you want to put in there, you can put in it. It's a nice, it's a nice radio. I like it a lot. I have a, I already have a, um, an MD380 that I've had for a while. I've got a Connect Systems 580 that I really, really, really love. I, you know, most of the time I grab the 580 because I like it more than the um, TYT MD380. It's just, uh, just an awesome radio. Let me grab it and I'll show you. A... This is the 580 from Connect Systems. And it is a sweet radio. It is just, um, it's awesome. I love the display. Everything's clear and it's just... It's a awesome radio. But anyway, back to the 2017. It's a little bit bigger in size. It's hard to, to tell with me and this camera, but I'll put my 380 beside it here and give you a comparison. Maybe, uh, maybe half inch, something. A little bigger. It feels really good in the hand I mean it just um, it fits good your fingers and everything line up with the buttons to push to talk perfectly it's just um, it feels good it's got a heavy more robust belt clip on it it's just um, I think TYT hit the uh, Hit the ball out of the park with this one guys. It um, it seems to do great. I tested it this morning on the uh, DMR system on 3100. The guys say it sounded great. Had great audio. Clean, clear. Not too loud, not too quiet. It sounded great. I'm using the open spot. I haven't tried it on the um, local DMR repeater yet. I did try it on my local analog 2 meter repeater this morning and the report that I got was the same. It sounded sound great. I mean it's just um, the audio that comes from it is loud. If you I mean if you have dealt with a quiet radio in a noisy environment, it's got you know you can crank it up it gets um, it'll get pretty loud if you need it that loud. It's got great audio that comes out of it. It's more of a full range type sound. Some radios, I noticed they sound real tinny. It's got, I don't know if TYT changed speakers or what they did, but it's got great audio. It's just, um, wow, I quit dropping it. It just, uh, it seems like a great radio. It's It's built stronger than the MD380 that I have, you can tell. It's just more of a a more robust, stronger built radio. Which I'll get into. I'll make another video. I did just pull the code plug from my 380 and loaded it into this one and just took off because I wanted to just try everything out real quick. I will get into the programming. I'll do another video and show you how to how to load a contact and write it to the radio and set up a zone and do the whole shebang. It is a little bit different from your 380, of course, because you've got a you've got a top band and a bottom band. 
you've got a top and a bottom. So your top, see I'm on worldwide, my bottom on this is not programmed, it's unprogrammed, I haven't. So I just have the DMR part programmed. 15, 1, 15, 1. And then left and right changes channels. 1. You can change channels that way. I do love the programmable buttons. And it's got 1, 2, 3, 4, and then here P1 and P2 is programmable. So it's got six different programmable button buttons and you can program all them buttons, you know, into any anything you want, you know, to scan, to change your talk groups, to change your zones, to change your power levels and just, you know, privacy on and off anything that you want to program in these buttons, you can change it and configure it to your liking. I'm going to configure these two up and down to change my channel so I don't have to do it on this. One. I don't have to do it on this One. trackball. I hate that trackball. <laughs> I just don't like the trackball. That's the only thing I that's the only thing I can critique. I'm not a bit I mean it's okay. It's there and it works. But in the long run, is it still going to work, you know, five years from now? Is it going to work perfectly? One. And rubbing against it, two. One. it will change, you know, it'll change if you rub One. it against something. I don't like that. So I'm going to program these two to change my channels. Now, in the programming software, it's going to look different. You're going to be like, whoa, what's going on? But of course it's going to be different because you know you've you're, you're got a dual bander now. So when you go into your zone, for instance, uh, I'll go into my open spot. Now everything in channel member A is the top band. Everything in channel member B is your bottom band. So it's what I did is I put all my digital analog stuff here, and this will be all of my local. VHF, UHF, repeaters, so forth. I did read somewhere. I thought, maybe I might have misunderstood that you could only put VHF in this. That's not true. I have 440 machines in here, and I have tested it on two meters and 440. And it, you can use it. It 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 switches just like it's supposed to, regardless. So everything. And the software is pretty much close to to the same, but a few changes because of the extra bands. But anyway, I'll make another video and I'll show you guys how to how to program it from start to finish, all that good stuff, everything. But anyway, that's that's going to be the video for today on the new TYT MD 2017. I'm very happy with it. Great job, TYT. Nice radio. Alright guys, seven threes, and enjoy the video. Please subscribe, and um, please like. I really, um, I'm just starting out, so I need all I can get. you have to excuse my voice. I've got a terrible cold, and my voice sounds like a, a buzzed-up frog. <laughs> have a good day, guys, and uh, seven threes.